<laughs> so the result are overexposed images that are not sharp. Uh, at the little ones I thought the exposure is right, but after they try it that they're always they get brighter in the wet plate coloring process. So that was my first mistake, but they're all not sharp, not, not even sharp at all. So I didn't understand why, because I bought the film or the Polaroid holder was uh, made for the Mamiya IFD. So I thought it should be sharp and I used the same uh, holder or similar holder with the FP 100 c back in my uh, Polaroid Mini portrait camera and they are tick sharp there, so I thought it's gonna work. And I talked with a friend who is using uh, another Mamiya camera, not one with autofocus, the, I think it's a 605 Pro, with the adapter for the 605 Pro and this is working and they, he gets sharp, uh, sharp images. So I had to figure out what's happening. So the first thing I did, I took the original film back for 645 films and I measured the distance from the uh, front of the uh, film holder to uh, the plane of where they are, for, to the surface where the film is. And uh, you can see it here. I measured it, it was something like uh, 5.2 millimeters or something. And then I measured the Polaroid film holder with the uh, uh, FP with the Fuji FP 100C uh, framing inside, and so I had 6.5 millimeters. So it was obvious why it's not sharp because it's like 1.2 or 1.3 millimeters more will produce a blurry image. 
and I shot wide open. I shot at 1.9 and at 2.8 and 3.5. So that was the reason I got uh, images that are not sharp. And then I even thought, okay, let's measure the blade when I put it in without the Fuji FPA 100C frame. I put it directly into uh, the Polaroid holder and then I got 4.5, so it would be not sharp again, right? Yeah, a little bit confused, so maybe these Polaroid holders are only made to check the exposure and never were intended to get uh, sharp images out of them. So if you know if, uh, a little bit more about that and if you've shot Polaroids with that before and you didn't just uh, use that for uh, checking exposure, you scanned them and you got already uh, sharp images of these Polaroids or of this Fuji film. Uh, from a Mamiya 645 camera. It would be really interesting to let me know what I'm doing wrong here, but maybe uh, it's all right. So I even tried to cut down uh, the plastic frame inside a little bit so I get uh, less distance, but it's always the same. So it's the, the limitation is somewhere else. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, and I'll sure be back with a fix for that, I have just to figure out how to do it. And yeah guys, uh, hit the like button if you liked it and uh, write down in the description if you have a hint for me how I can fix this and yeah, thanks for watching, I'll be back guys.